Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube video. Now this is a little bit of a special video and this is feedback from me regarding the feedback we asked from you guys. So going into the new year we posted up a video and the video was effectively to ask you guys uh, what's your favourite GBHL video? What's your favourite bat rep? And what's your favourite style of series? Just so that we can gauge what we want to try and do going forwards. Now I've got a little bit of time now because I'm waiting before Jamie turns up at Stockport Station. So I thought I would give a bit of a response to some of the answers. Just so those of you maybe haven't been involved in that discussion can see what everybody else thinks. So if we go down to some of the first replies, we have got one good riddance. Now I'll do this in a sort of speak friend and question style. I'll read what you put down and then we'll just chat about it guys. Uh, hopefully you're doing a little bit of painting while you're watching this video because that's what these videos are for. And it's been great to see so many of you getting so far with your painting with these videos on in the background. It's good that we're keeping you motivated. Okay, so the first comment to this was from One Good Riddance. And he put, my favourite videos are the Q&As, unboxings and the battle reports. The ones I can mention off the top of my head are Woodells versus the Southern Kingdoms, Rohan versus Grey Company, and Grey Company versus Mordor. So it's good that the uh, the Q and A um, comes up there because that's one of our regular ones, and the battle reports. And of course, we've done our unboxings as and when there are releases or when we get time to do them. We tend to do those as a sort of one big effort. Really, we get a bunch of models and we'll unbox them, film it all at the same time, and then obviously uh, put a video up about it. Uh, the battle reports you've enjoyed were Wood Elves vs. the Southern Kingdom, so I think that was one with Jamie and the Mumuk, um, where he did the crazy legless jumping into the Howder business, which was pretty cinematic. Rohan vs. the Grey Company, so that would have been me vs. Steve a couple of times. And Grey Company vs. Mordor, that was me vs. Lewis, so interesting that those are your favourites. Thank you very much, One Good Riddance. Next up we got Death Clip, John. His favourites would be the Battle Reports, those that are 500 points or more. Other than that, I love the Q&As and I really enjoyed the Desolation of Schmaug Month. Also, I think that the best length for a video is 10 to 20 minutes, except that for the Bat Reps and Q&As. When a video lasts less than that, i.e. 5 or 6 minutes, I feel that I need a little bit more for the day. <laughs> it's like a form of addiction. You need that little bit more when we only give out little videos. Well, of course, we do our best. Um, sometimes the videos need to be short and snappy because it's a news item. It's really interesting when we look at the analytics to see how long people watch particular lengths of videos for. And we would probably agree with you that 10 to 20 minutes seems to be the kind of sweet spot, really. Um, but lots of very committed first age subscribers now really getting into our Q&As, the speak friend in question. And also the battle reports too. Very interesting as well that you like the battle reports that are 500 points or more. 500 points will tend to be the upper limit of battle report we will film. Because in the style that we film them, and we have tried to film it in a different style, it just takes too long. But we might do it in the future, we might find a solution to that. Um, one of the solutions might be actually to do a higher points game, but we have to include higher points heroes. Just so that you guys can see them in action. So I hope that that feedback goes in. So next up we've got Stefan F. He loves the battle reports. Great stuff buddy. The other videos are good too but I never delay watching a bat rep. I just love them. Imagine me sitting behind my laptop cheering every time some amazing dice rolls happen and shouting no when someone does a bad move or dice roll. <laughs> it's great to hear and I'm glad that you look forward to these videos. And battle reports really are the core of our channel. You know, we, we are trying our best to get two out per week. We are trying to do this in our spare time. And we have managed pretty much to get daily content to you guys. So uh, expect to see more battle reports, more variety of battle reports, some with some interesting heroes and monsters, and just keeping it fun, really. Next up, we've got Sotos Sotitos. I definitely like the battle reports more than other vids and would like to see more battle reports with Rangers and the Grey Company. Well, thank you very much for your feedback and yeah, I think I should use the Grey Company a little bit more. I've tended to use my Rohan because that's my favourite force, I enjoy playing with them the most, that's my kind of signature force. 
I do quite well of them, and it's the force that I tend to take to tournaments. Um, but I'll try and get another couple of battle reports showing off the Grey Company. Uh, also, we, we've had a few with the Grey Company because I've played against Steve, and he's used Arnor, and I've used it once as well. So, uh, next comment is from Generic Legion Wargaming. I do enjoy the battle reports, as I don't think enough people do the Hobbit bat reps, and they are how I found the channel. Well, we would agree, and one of the reasons why we're doing this is because we didn't, we we couldn't find enough great. Hobbit Battle Reports out there. I think there is uh, Lord of the Rings SBG, our friends over in America, they do Battle Reports. It's a bit of a different style to ours and they do do bigger games um, and they've got gorgeously painted miniatures. Um, but yeah, I would agree with you, there's not enough Bat Reps out there. The Q&A is another one of my favourites, providing me something hobby related to, to listen to while I paint and solve any queries that I might have about the game and hear your opinions on things. But I like all of your videos. Well, that's that's great to hear, buddy, and we appreciate the feedback. And another person saying they really enjoyed the Q&A, which is great. Uh, next comment was from Mason O'Neill. Either the bat reps that go for 30 plus minutes, or the question videos that go for one hour plus, so I can listen to them while painting. Or the bedtime bat rep. So that's really interesting that you like the battle reports that last 30, uh, more than 30 minutes. Um, I mean, we... Our goal really is always to try and get a 500 point battle report in done less than 30 minutes. That's usually our goal. Uh, or the question videos that go for an hour plus. Again, we try and do the Q&A in about an hour. Uh, or the bedtime bat rep. So remember, the longer videos are, that means the longer that we've had to spend filming them, which means that there are less videos and more editing time, more rendering time, more uploading time. So that's why we do try and keep a limit on them. Um, and you also like the bedtime bat rep. That's really good to hear. I think the bedtime bat rep was a bit chalk and cheese. I think some people really liked it and some people uh, didn't like it as much. Um, and the reason why we've not got more of those up is because we've not had any submissions. But I've got something exciting for you coming soon with regards to that. So keep watching. Make sure you are subscribed so that you get alerted when these videos go up. So next up we've got Tarantula Matt. The videos I look forward to are the unboxings. Apart from Escape from Goblin Town, people on YouTube don't do Hobbit unboxings. Keep up the good work, guys. So the videos you look forward to are the unboxings, um, but you don't like the unboxings that people have done of the Escape from Goblin Town because they don't do Hobbit unboxings, right? Okay. And maybe we should, um, maybe we should do an unboxing at some point uh, of the Escape from Goblin Town. But neither of us have bought it, so. Okay, next up we've got Lucas Gervin. I like them all. Great stuff, buddy. I know bat reps take time, but I like them. Uh, but don't ask too much of yourself. I also like to hear your opinion on things, like how good is something or not. Q&A or others like rule changes. That's good to hear. Um, in terms of not asking too much of ourselves, yeah, I mean, we'll try and take a few hours out of maybe one or two days a week to try and get as much done as possible. Um, but it is hard. I've got a fiance, I've got a house, I've got a life, I've got a business. So it's tough to get in. But I do enjoy this hobby and I'm really, really, you know, motivated that so many of you are getting so much from this channel. And it just makes me and Jamie both want to do more and more and more, you know. So we'll keep up the good work. Next up, we got Frida, which is Frodo with the Invisible O's. Like everyone else, I like the bat reps. But I especially like the ones with the big heroes that may not be super competitive, but are the fluffy list, like the Treebeard, Bayorn, and Azog ones. Well, that's really interesting to hear. And something that me and Jamie are quite keen to do are to... Uh, because I, th I think it'll make for quicker battle reports as well. But it's to do more battle reports that have the bigger heroes included. Um, so it's quicker. And also it showcases uh, all of these wonderful characters. And like you say, they're fluffy, they're from the moon. People like to see, you know, Ar Aragorn. People, people want to see characters like Aragorn and Gandalf and stuff. But, you know, we might not take them because we don't necessarily, we think it might be a big too much of a point sink at those points uh, values. But I guess, um, I guess if both sides were committed to maybe bringing in heroes of above a certain value, then, then we could do that. Um, I find it great to see these characters that are so amazing in the film being put to good use in SBG. Yep. So we will try that for you, Frida. So keep an eye out. Uh, I also quite like the videos you made speaking with some of the competitors at the tournament and going over their armies. 
Uh, I enjoy seeing different full armies and hearing their strategies and tactics. Well, me too. I really enjoyed doing those videos. And it was such a shame that because it was one of my first bits of filming with the iPhone, that I, was, I had my hand over the speaker most of the time. So a lot of those sounded like they were underwater. I did my best in the editing um, so that it would be a bit, bit better, but it didn't quite work. We'd like to do a little bit more of that at tournaments. The problem has been that when Jamie has attended his tournament since Preston, he's been focused on the tournament and not filming and just relaxing. And it was the same when we both went to Malice. I did a little bit, but we did just really let our hair down. But, but we will be more committed to doing that in the future, I think. Because I also think it's really interesting to see other army lists and hear from other... And, and just see and be able to see another Hobbit gamer and see how they talk about their force. I think that's really um, motivational. Speak friend and question is a great way to get everyone involved and the sheer length of it is fantastic for painting. Thumbs up. Well, thumbs up to you for really supporting our channel. And I agree. That's what speak friends and questions are for. And videos like this, so you can get a little bit of painting done. Captain Goldteeth, fellow Vault member from MiniWarGaming.com. Uh, I just can't pick one, but I love that bedtime story bat rep. Uh, in general, I love all the bat reps, but go, go, do more. <laughs> we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, it is just me and Jamie, so... And if we don't have opponents, then we have to play each other, and that makes it even harder to get more done. But he's coming over soon, and when he comes over, I think we're going to... We're going to do some sort of bigger hero battles that are a bit quicker. We'll try and get a few in a backlog ready for you. It's good to see that you also enjoyed the bedtime story bat rep. Again, we want to do more of those because it's a great way of getting you guys, the Hobbit community, involved in our channel. So, that's, come on guys. <laughs> Email ilovewargaming at gmail.com And it is important that you have pictures. I know uh, one of you guys emailed us with sort of it was like a couple of paragraphs, which was great, it was well written, but it didn't really lend itself to being um, a bedtime bat rep. I think it was like from a scenario, but there were no pictures. We couldn't just, you know, take pit get the models out and take pictures of them and then put it in with your battle report. So uh, if you want to do this, guys, make sure when you're playing a game, you take some notes, you take lots of pictures with almost every single thing that you think is quite uh, an action part of the game. And then write a narrative after, send it through to us, make sure the pictures match the narrative, and we'll put together some bedtime battle reports. Next up, we've got Brandon Cooper. I like the bat reps and the Q&As. I love the desolation of Schmaug Month and would love to see more themed weeks throughout the year. But really, don't make it hard for yourselves. Keep it up. Well, another person loving the bat reps, that's really, really positive news, because again, it's the foundation of our channel. Another person loving the Q&As, which again, has become another part of our, our channel. Uh, you love the themed month, and you'd like to see more of these sort of themed weeks, and I think we're going to do that in the future, uh, sort of take a look at the source books, and maybe do a review of the Gondor army, or an Easterling army, or a Candish army, just for sort of nice little sort of 10, 15 minute long videos. Uh, there might, might be single videos rather than sort of a themed week. Maybe the week would be the source book and the individual videos would be each army within the source book, perhaps. And then maybe a review of the whole thing. But we'll, we'll have a look. In terms of not making it really hard for ourselves, well, we are, uh, but we are really committed to you guys and your enthusiasm is keeping us really motivated. And as long as you guys keep on supporting us, getting involved in the channel, then we'll, we'll keep this up. And we will try and find ways in the future of you know, getting some kind of remuneration for our time because we are spending a lot of time doing it. And then it, it becomes easier to justify doing all of this if you know, we can find creative ways of helping you guys support us You know, if there's, a, if there's an appetite for all this content. Rory Swan. I quite like the unboxings where you actually unbox and go through the profiles. That's good to hear. Thomas Minard, is that right? Thomas Minard, battle reports and tournament related stuff. Keep up the good work, guys. What a fantastic idea for a video. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you like it, and we just want to keep on getting your feedback so we know what we want to do going forwards. So uh, it's good to see that battle reports coming up again. We're obviously doing something right with those. Uh, I'm really interested. I mean, do, do you guys like our kind of style of filming? We've experimented with some other styles, like Jamie experimented having a camera on a tripod on the battlefield 
and it just didn't really work as much because you don't really get the personality and the flavour and the excitement of the battle. You know, we tried voiceovers a little bit, and again, it's the same kind of problem. Uh, we tried a dice rolling area, and that's all well and good. And I know that some people say that when we zoom in on dice, it can be a little bit like, whoa, but it, it does kind of give that real-time feel that it's happening there and then. And I know a dice rolling area might make it clearer, but it does make it a bit more difficult to film and to edit, because it's not just like, right, this is happening, we're going to roll the dice, you've got to move, you go over to come up. I know it seems like something small, but it does make a difference in the editing process. We might continue to try, we might get a better dice rolling area, but just so far it hasn't really worked. So, do you guys like the way that we do our bat reps, that kind of, uh, how we film it? Do you like the way that Jamie does his and I do mine? Um, maybe leave a comment on this video and let us know. And you like the tournament related stuff. That's good, we'll try and do more of that as well in the future. We're going to nearly every tournament this year, I think, so, brilliant. Mav's fantastic! My personal favourite are the speak friend in question and the battle reports. Fantastic. Again, good to see people like the core of this channel. If you didn't like the core, then that would be a big worry. Order. Right, you're going to have to order, 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 order. Awful. I love both bat rep and speak friend in question most equally. And I think the only thing to improve on is the variety of points cost in bat reps and also opponents with different armies. Yep, I agree. We want to be having bat reps against different opponents using different armies. So if you want to challenge us to a filmed battle report, send us an email and we'll try and arrange it. We'd love to host you in Stockport. And also try and make it to our tournament on the 12th and 13th of April. And if you want to make a long weekend of it and are available on the Friday or the Monday, Jamie and I are happy to do some video battle reports with some of you guys and showcase your armies. Uh, so I, I agree with that. We want more opponents and we want some more variety of armies. And there's only so much that we can do to, to make our armies varied. In terms of improving on the variety of points cost, yeah, I agree. I think, I think mostly so far they've been 350, 400, 500, and I think there's been an 800, I think. One or two 800s. But the bigger points costs are hard to film when people bring lots of troops. It takes a long time. And it's a, a long time to edit, long time to render, long time to upload, because we have to do those in HD so it comes out nice. Um, but yeah, I, th I think our solution is going to be to sort of bring in bigger heroes and sort of maybe keep a kind of troops limit or war bands limit or, some, or something along those lines just to keep it quick and to showcase those uh, bigger heroes. Foos, too, Foos Tub even. Battle reports are the best. So again, there's a real consistent theme here. Battle reports and Q&A coming up with some of the, the, your favourite videos. Uh, Craig Hamilton 1000. Battle reports but could be nicer with a camera mounted on a tripod. Gets a uh, tripod. Tripod? Tripod. Gets a little bit trippy sometimes with all the movement in and out of focus. Okay, it's, it's good feedback. It's interesting. I mean, we, we've tried it with the mounted on tripod. And for my own battle, I, 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 it's much harder. It becomes a much harder process. Because there are certain things that lend themselves to being sort of more action based. And if it's all on a tripod all the time, it takes longer to film. Because you have to take your camera on and off that tripod for various things. You're setting it up all the time, trying to get the angles. I think you lose something. I do agree with you. You know, it can get trippy with, with uh, in and out of focus. My iPhone isn't too bad in terms of focus. I know Jamie's camera sometimes struggles with focus. Well, we will continue to try and improve it. And maybe we'll try and find a way of, of doing the tripod and making it work in the battle report. But just so far, it's just not really worked as well as our current style. Um, so next up we've got Peter Magro. I think the Q&A and battle reports are really helpful. Thumbs up. Another person. Your bat reps are quality and very educational to new players. This is from Thomas Macklin. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad that it's helping lots of new players. I'm glad that you like the battle reports and the style. So again, consistent theme. People love the battle reports. Melkor's SBG. The What's Changed videos were really good and useful. I love the more comedic bat reps you do, like the fun armies and get buff. Yeah, we'll be doing a lot more of those. The Rohan Tactical was cool. It would be great to see some stuff for other armies as well. Yeah, when, when we get a chance, we'll definitely do that. To be honest, all your videos are good. So a happy first day subscriber. Thank you very much. Great feedback. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that What's Changed got mentioned there because a big effort for us was also trying to get gamers who used to be, who, who used to be involved in the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game to come and try the Hobbit and try out the Hobbit rules because they're great. 
Um, so it didn't seem so intimidating, and so you could see what was good about the system. So I'm glad that that came up. Werner's Miniatures. My absolute favourite is Speak, Friend and Question. And also the rest. That's fantastic. Speak, Friend and Question coming up, that's good. Uh, Gunlock177. You put Battle Reports with Jamie. Winky Fat. What's up with Battle Reports with me? Well, fine. You watch your Battle Reports with Jamie videos. Uh, what would be really, really good feedback would be some uh, add something constructive to that. So why do you really enjoy the Battle Reports with Jamie? What is it about the Battle Reports with Jamie uh, that make you look forward to watching them more than a Battle Report with me? Uh, and all of you can, can get involved in that conversation as well. Do you like it when it's me? Do you like it when it's Jamie? Or do you like it when it's me and Jamie? Which you look forward to more, but why? Not just... I prefer Jamie, I prefer James. Let's hear why, because then we might be able to build that into each other's way of filming our own battle reports. Or maybe it's just the, the characters you like. Different people like different people, don't they? So some of you might not like me, and some of you might not like Jamie. But I hope you love our channel and what we're trying to do. Okay, next up we've got Junt Jellut. Hey guys, my favourites are your unboxings, model and stat reviews. The wonderful thing about those, besides the battle reps and Q&As, the real food for thought when painting models. So you really like to have to really think about uh, what we're talking about. Really good feedback, thank you very much. I'd really love to see you guys unbox models from the new and old range. Uh, with additional possible army list models to add so they can become greater than the sum of their parts. The possible weaknesses, how to prevent overcoming them versus benefiting them. Pros and cons on the entire level. So yeah, real more sort of tactical breakdown. Well of course the problem with any unboxing is that we have to purchase those models and you know, he was loaded. Um, so really, we unbox what we're getting for ourselves. And to be fair, we've already started buying in more just because we're on the channel. So this is starting to be quite expensive. Maybe when we we're um, able to find sort of some creative ways of getting you guys to support us more, then we'll be able to get everything and unbox them, and you know, either keep them for the channel or sell them on. But we definitely want to break down some army lists a little bit more. Um, I think it's best to get players who've got their own arms to maybe go through that. What do you guys think? Maybe when an opponent challenges us to a battle report, maybe we could do like a little uh, video that's the player talking about their force, why they brought the force, what they intend to do with it, what the tactics are. Maybe, maybe that's something that you'd be quite keen on. Let us know. Comment below. On the hobby side, uh, show some models sent in by your viewers because you asked for them in the announcement video, etc. Next week, be an unboxing course of Unbar. So if you want your models in one of our videos to be presented across the road, send them too. Guys, if you want to send us models to showcase, then be our guest. I get told off from Jamie all the time for these kind of appeals, but it's true. If you want to showcase a model, then send it to us. Email ilovewargaming at gmail.com and if you want it showcased on the channel, or you want, a, you, you, you want a, a model to be used in our battle reports, and it might be something that we would use, feel free to send it to us. It helps us massively, and it's a good way of getting the community involved, so I would agree. So that sort of stuff to get people's hobby blood flowing. How about them apples? Well, yeah, I think it's a good idea, it's just whether people were willing to send their, their models to us, to be honest. <laughs> That's completely down to you guys. You want to send anything to the channel, of course, it'll be greatly, gratefully received, but we don't expect that. That's the key point. So, uh, thanks guys for all the content, and bless your parts ropes for speaking the hobby language to us. Well, thank you, Jantula. We really appreciate your support. We really do, buddy. All of you. Semp the Great. So, Surin, you want me to choose Insanity? Well, I like all of your videos. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, if I were to pick something, it would be the Speak, Friend and Question, the Battle Reports, and the Themed Week, which, as of now, has only been the Desolation of Shmau, Semp the Great. Well, yeah, I think we'll do more Themed Weeks down the line. That would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, Grant Heil. Uh, keep bringing on the Battle Reports, especially, like, the Battle Reports with rules that are not common to encounter. So, yeah, we were thinking about doing some more Battle Reports that had magic involved, uh, I think we've done a few with monsters now, so I think you should have a bit of a better grip of monsters. What other rules would you not have come across much? We've had somewhere we've got some special rules like rivers. Maybe so we could do like a siege at some point. It doesn't really lend itself to being filmed massively, but 
we could do it at some point. Maybe name some of the rules that you would like us to uh, to include. And maybe we can actually set up battle reports that have got some of those situations manufactured. So if there is a particular situation you would like to see in action, comment below and let me know. Next up, we've got Randy Blood, Bill Fernie. Now, this guy is a collector and a fantastic painter. And he's on the One Ring forum all the time, usually chatting, hobnobbing with the other fellow great painters and sculptors, which are Shadow and Flame partnership of DMS, Kev Lawrence, and Dave Fredericks, UK Freddy Bear. Being a collector and avid painter, my favourites are the Speak Friend and Questions and the unboxings. Speak Friend and Question covers so many topics, it's neat to see how so many different people enjoy so many different aspects of the hobby. I agree, it's one of the reasons I get a real kick out of it. <laughs> so, me and Jamie were gutted we couldn't do it together. I mean, it's kind of good for you guys that you got two videos for the price of one almost, two speak friend and questions, two different opinions. But it almost felt like we'd had a fallout and we're doing it separately. We really enjoy sitting down there and listening to what you guys have to say. So, remember, keep ans asking those questions so we can keep that series going. The unboxings are great as I enjoy listening to you guys' thoughts on the models. First class videos all the way. Thank you very much, Randy, and great to see that you're subscribed to this channel. Keep up the good work, and if you ever want to send us any pictures of some of your work, we're more than happy to showcase it because it's beautiful. Next up, we've got Sean Shank. Battle reports! Actually, all of it is good. I enjoy all the videos, but bat reps for me as a player in the States who almost never gets to play with other people, actually watching games play out is surprisingly entertaining. Thanks, Sean. That's great to hear, Sean. And if you ever want to get some, um, some games, you are more than welcome to travel over to the UK and we'll host you in Stockport and you can get a whole weekend of games in with us. Maybe come to the tournament 12th or 13th of April. I know that some guys are coming over from the States. There are guys coming over from Greece, from the Scandinavian countries, from across the world. So if you want to make the journey, 12th or 13th of April, get it done. Uh, but it's good to see that this is keeping you in the hobby. Okay, next up we've got Hawks Dynasty. The most important, interesting, and above all, reviewable content is easily the Q&A. That's really good to hear. You'll definitely need to keep those going. Um, we are committed to, don't you worry about that. We will try our best every Sunday to get that video out. Just make sure you get your questions asked before Wednesday and we'll try and answer them on Thursday. Uh, aside from that, interesting battle reports like the Harrod one, because the fact you use different armies and rules, most importantly, are always welcome. Yep, so people liking having sort of different exciting ones. I know that that was a very cinematic uh, battle report, and there were some things in there that weren't really right to the game, but it made for good viewing. People like the drama. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll try and do more of those types. Do, do, do. Unboxings are honestly interesting to some, but to me, I'd rather just look on the website. I don't watch them all. They're not bad, but the game information itself is priceless. So that's some really interesting feedback there. So some people like really like the unboxings, and other people prefer to kind of skip over them. And it's good to see that we're appealing to sort of all different kinds of opinions. Next up, Nico J. I don't know about an individual one, but I found the videos comparing the changes from Lord of the Rings to The Hobbit entertaining. Oh, The Hobbit entertaining and informative. That's good. That's what we wanted. We wanted um, we wanted to really educate those players who maybe played Lord of the Rings and wanted to try The Hobbit or wasn't sure about trying The Hobbit to uh, to get involved. Next up, we got Jonathan Punchon. Punchon, is that right? Origami chicken. I think I've done a trade with you, buddy. I think so. Did I send you some Cazard Guard sometime? Or vice versa? I can't remember. Uh, my favourite are the speak friends and questions and the battle reports. Keep up the great work, guys. Again, consistent theme, people loving those types of videos. Gimthor23. I really love the bat reps, but of course, my favourite is the bedtime one. Great narration, very well written. That's really interesting to hear that that is your favourite type. It was well written by Murtau, even though it wasn't written for the medium of being read out. There were some different tenses in it and stuff, and he hadn't taken pictures specific to what was going on in his narration. But I think it could be a really popular series going forward. We just need you guys to submit, and we'll keep them up. So thank you very much for your feedback, Gimthor23. Next up, David Reed up in Scotland, I believe. My favourite type of videos are the Q&As, but I really, really liked the rules reviews during the DOS weeks and the Watch Change series. I usually listen to at work, so anything that's reasonably lengthy that I can listen to is great. So that's quite a common theme. People like to sort of 
have it on in the background. To be fair, I've done it before. If Jamie's made a video or it's a video that's <clears throat> Jamie filmed, filmed that I've not seen, uh, uploaded, sometimes I won't even watch it. I'll just put my headphones into my phone, I'll play the video, I'll put it in my little pouch and I'll listen to it when I'm driving, uh, which is always good. Uh, and, and yeah, I'll also have them on in the background when I'm painting. So we do it as well. So it's good to see that you guys are doing doing it. And this video is getting a little bit lengthy now as well. So you might be able to uh, get some even more painting done, which is great. Next up, Ada Thackeray. I really like both of them. But when I found your channel, I was looking at some battle reports on YouTube. Uh, it could be interesting to do some great battle reports such as sieges or two versus two battles in case... In any case, you shouldn't stop making all of the other great videos. Greetings from Italy. Well, thank you very much, buddy. Really appreciate you commenting on this and your feedback. And yeah, I think we'll do the odd sort of special battle report, maybe sort of stages of a siege as individual parts rather than the whole siege. Uh, and doubles, I think we can do doubles as well every now and again. But remember, doubles, what you've got to think is, okay, let's say it's me and Jamie, and two people come to play with us, and we play each other, that equals one battle report filmed. Because it's likely to take a while as well. So that's one battle report filmed, which then one of us has got to edit, render, it's a lot. We get two people, and it's me and Jamie. Okay, I can play one of them, Jamie can play the other. So that's two battle reports already. Then we swap over, and all of a sudden, that's four battle reports for the channel. So you can see here, almost like the economics of, of how this works. Uh, I know that we're not making any money from this, but really it's sort of how to make best use of your time. Uh, oh, and is this the final comment? So we have 36 comments this video, so thank you so much for all of your feedback. The final comment is from Elliot McDonald. Speak friend and question is somewhat of a highlight, just because of how relaxed and informal it is. I, I would agree. It's a highlight for us as well, uh, filming it. We, we love it. I'm also looking forward to Middle Earth's Deadliest Warband once it gets going. Your profile reviews for the DOS were great too. Yeah, we're looking forward to Middle Earth's Deadliest Warband. We really need to get our acts together with that. I know that we did the special one with the Rivendell Knights versus the Sons of Ale. What did you guys think of that? It was a little bit more like a bat rep, like a short bat rep, because we played it on 4x4 board. It had tons of terrain. The terrain had a massive impact. As well, Jamie had a really good strategy going into that. Whereas, you know, I, I wasn't, really, wasn't really thinking like I would do for a battle. I wasn't really in battle mode in my mind. And he, uh, he stomped me. He absolutely stomped me. Uh, so I think the Middle Earth's Deadliest Warband will be more straightforward. Smaller board, not much terrain. It will literally be which warband is better, I think. We, I think we might be filming some soon. Uh, I agree that hearing your personal opinion on things is one of the best features of the channel. Well, first day subscribers, here is a personal opinion from me. I genuinely, genuinely, massively appreciate all of your support, getting involved in this channel. It's so fantastic to see people who used to be involved in the game, feeling motivated, getting back involved. People with painting backlogs, chopping through it just because they've got this in the background to keep them motivated. It's been phenomenal to see so many new players inquiring about tournaments or attending games or finding other people to play, travelling, because that's what it takes. It has been utterly brilliant getting involved in this channel and we hope to continue doing this with your support. So continue to support your Hobbit hobby and let, let's keep this, this kind of video a conversation. I want you guys to give me feedback on my feedback. Comment below. Let me know what you think, expand on your points, and we'll come back to this in maybe a couple of weeks' time. Happy strategy battle gaming.